Let's make a video. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to talk about notes. I'm talking OG notes, putting the pen to the paper. And I don't know about you, but even after using my iPad Pro extensively, using the Apple Pencil, and using most digital note-taking apps, I still love that tactile feel of putting the pen to the paper. One of my favorite things when I was young was going to Office Max. I feel like people don't really go to Office Max anymore because we have Amazon. I would go to Office Max and hands down my favorite aisle at Office Max was the pen and pencil aisle. Favorite brands, Pentel and Pilot. To this day, the Pilot G2 is still one of my favorite pens. I think I have one right here. I don't know if it's gonna focus. Anyway, if you're like me, Putting pen to paper is just something you can't completely get away from. There are so many directions we could take this from. We could talk about notebooks, we could talk about pens. A lot of people have a lot of opinions on notebooks and pens. If you're into this sort of thing, you have a preference. So, I present to you my notebook thesis. Here's the deal. I think that everyone needs two notebooks. For actual note taking in class, when you need to take a copious amount of notes, you need a big notebook. Easily, the worst thing about taking notes is when you don't have enough space to write your notes down and your sentence gets cramped as you move along and then all of a sudden your letters are becoming smaller and there's no spaces between your words and everything is getting cramped and it's falling off the edge of the page. That's the worst. For actual note taking in class where I'm taking copious amounts of notes, I need the big bowl. I can't mess with any trendy moleskin, any little bound special notebook for taking my notes where I have to write everything in perfect sort of photographically excellent condition. I just need to be able to dump my thoughts and ideas and all the content that I'm trying to record. For this purpose, I love all things Rhodia. Rhodia makes amazing notebooks and it seems like not enough people know about them. Their paper is incredible, acid-free, it's a breeze to write on, it's actually an absolute joy to write on, and it's perfect for the big notebook situation. This is actually a brand new one that I, I just picked up, and so the pages are completely fresh and clean, and personally, my preference is grid. They also have dot, they have ruled, and so really whatever you prefer, they have. Yeah. These pages are just great. They're big, and they give me plenty of space to do exactly what I want to do. So if you've never used a Rhodia pad, I highly recommend you check it out. But you can also grab whatever pad you have laying around your house or at your local office supply store. It really doesn't matter. It's just, I think that every person needs a big notepad for situations where they need to dump a lot of ideas down onto the piece of paper. And this sort of pad can really get the job done. So check out Rhodia if you've never used them before. Okay, the second part of my notebook thesis. You need two notebooks. We've already covered the big one. And now, I gotta say, I think you need a small one. For me, I've really been enjoying, I think it's called Lecturn. Lectern notebooks. It looks a lot like a moleskin. To be honest, seems almost identical, except the paper quality is a lot higher. I like writing on this a lot more than I like writing on moleskin. The pages are thinner and just seem to take ink a little bit better. Something about moleskin pages, I don't know, uh, just seems to not be quite as enjoyable of a writing experience. Also, these pages are numbered, which I really, really like. And this is dotted, which you can get with Moleskine as well, um, and Graph. It, they all have options like that. My small notebooks I use for slightly different tasks. I like using them for journaling or for writing out lists of to-dos. I also like using them to keep track of my day or my schedule. Sort of things that are more well contained to a single page and don't have a ton of run-on information that I'm trying to record. I also just don't really like writing notes extensively on like this sort of two page setup because over here is fine but then when you're writing over here your hand is like falling off onto the table and that always kind of bothered me so i like to keep small lists here or you know the occasional journal or something like that or a short idea or quote that i hear that's why i really like having a small journal around as well a small notebook that in a nutshell is my two notebook thesis i think that you need a big one and you need a small one and they serve two distinct purposes. Now let's talk briefly about what we are writing with in our journal. I'm definitely a pen guy. I like pens. I like writing with pens. I think ever since high school I have opted to not use pencils really. Although I do like Pentel pencils like these guys here. I really like these pencils. These are great. But for the most part I like writing with ink. I have two main pens that I'm using at the moment. They are pretty widely available through Amazon or your local office supply store. We already talked briefly about the Pilot G2. This might be a point of contention, but I'm a believer in the 05 variant. You can go all the way down to, I think it's 0 
millimeters, I'm pretty sure is what that stands for. I just find it to be a little bit too fine. I still enjoy them, but I've kind of found my sweet spot with the 05. It's nice and thin, it doesn't bleed, and it makes a very crisp line. The other pen that I'm really enjoying is one I just picked up, and it's called a Lamy, I believe it's pronounced. L-A-M-Y. They make fountain pens. Uh, they're made in Germany. This is actually a rollerball, though. I don't get the thing with fountain pens. Fountain pens are like one step upgrade from like a quill pen that they made back in the 1700s. Rollerballs are the advanced technology, so why aren't we using rollerballs? Why do people still have a fascination with fountain pens? I don't know. Anyway, this is a Lamy rollerball, black ink. It writes really, really smoothly. It writes a little bit more smoothly than the Pilot G2, which is what I do like about it, although the line itself is a bit thicker which is okay sometimes, depending on what I'm doing. I tend to use this if I'm writing a letter or a note to someone. I really like the look of the pen too. I think it looks really sharp. Um, the casing is metal, I believe, or aluminum, something like that. Just looks sharp, looks nice on the desk. So highly recommend you check out the Lamy pen if you are interested in such things. I'm curious if you guys feel strongly about the pens or the notebooks that you use. I feel like people who are into these things tend to have strong opinions on what they use to write their notes or to write their schedules out on. It's just funny, people seem to develop an affinity for what they write with on a regular basis. And definitely not all notebooks and pens are made equal. Some give us a more enjoyable writing experience. And when you're taking a lot of notes and you're using something on a regular basis, it should bring you some degree of joy when you're using it. If you have a preference of a notebook or a pen or even pencil that you love, uh, drop it in a comment down below. I'd love to hear about what paper and writing instruments you're using. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you in the next one.